ladies, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is Foundation Friday, and I'm gonna be reviewing the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. Can't stop, won't stop, get wild. Can't stop, won't stop shaking in the guns, cause we, we get down, baby. this foundation because NYX has created 45 shades. 45 shades in a drugstore product is pretty freaking amazing. Let me pull up the website. If I look at my color, let's see how many colors are past my skin tone. Usually it's like two, three, maybe four. But let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 shades darker than me. Wow. Okay, well, let me clarify. There's 23 different shades past my color, meaning there's my color, and then there's like maybe different variations of my skin tone with different undertones, but there definitely are some deeper tones. Judging by just these little photos on the website, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight really like deep tones. Oh, it looks pretty even, like there's a good amount of pale, there's a good amount of medium, and there's a good amount of dark. So bravo to Nick for creating so many shades so everybody gets a color to choose from. Now I do wanna point out that this is NYX, okay, NYX. They got that moolah. So their brand that I would expect to be able to create that many shades. Now, if you're a brand new company or like some new name, okay, maybe you only have eight shades right now and you know, you're growing. But these larger brands, this is how you should be coming. Correct. If this is your first Foundation Friday, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I post foundation videos on Fridays and curly hair videos on Sundays. Did you press the subscribe button yet? Yeah, I mean, we could just wait. I'll wait for you to push the button, it's okay. Back to the foundation. Besides the awesome 45 shade range, I also love how affordable it is. This is $15, so it's a little bit more than like maybe a drugstore price, but definitely a lot more affordable than a high-end foundation. It does have a pump nozzle, which is what I prefer to pump my foundation onto a beauty blender or a brush. And let's see, you get one fluid ounces of product, just like every other foundation. And it's supposed to last up to 24 hours, claiming a 24 hour matte finish. So now let me backtrack to when I first put on this foundation and show you the coverage, the consistency, and all that jazz. Alrighty, let's get started. I have three shades that I stole from set. I mean, borrowed from when I was on set with NYX. So I have caramel, cinnamon, and golden. Let's see what is going to be the best match. Starting with caramel, this is supposed to have an olive undertone. So let's see. Okay, caramel. Now let's try cinnamon. Cinnamon is supposed to have a neutral undertone. Hmm, a little bit darker. And then I have golden. Golden is supposed to be medium deep with a neutral undertone. And I have learned that neutral is usually the best for me. Hmm. Golden usually. Yeah. That's gonna be nice. I'm gonna go with the golden one. Okay, let's keep it in the NYX family and find a NYX primer. I'm sure I have one. I do have the NYX Angel Veil, and I have the NYX Shine Killer. That's important, I'm kinda feeling that one. It's supposed to eliminate the look of oil and shine so face stays matte and fresh all day long. Well, that's what we're testing today, buddy. I do like this consistency, it's like a gel. And it glides on very smooth, no white cast. All right, now I'm grabbing my color golden. Nope, not you. Nope, not you. There it is. And I'm going to put it on my damp beauty blender. Let's do one pump. It is a pretty thick little cream. Let's check this coverage, shall we? 
nice. That coverage is good off of just the first dab too. So that's how far one pump went. Let's do another good pump. All right, that is my full application of the foundation all on its own. Now, even though this is claiming to have a neutral undertone, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of a, a warm or golden undertone. What do you guys think? It looks a little, a little warm, but I kind of like that little extra bit of color, a little bit more of a tan during these winter days, so I don't have to be like the exact paler shade that I am in the winter. And I think it's matching with my chest just fine. It is going on very matte right now, but not like a <clears throat> I'm dry type of matte. It still feels very breathable. It's not too heavy or cakey. It blended out very nicely. Did a really good job with coverage. So now let me finish the rest of my face. And we're back. Wow. The power of hair and makeup, right? So at this point, I'm really loving how the foundation looks. I look extremely matte. Like, there is not oil or shine in sight. I mean, besides my highlight, but that's supposed to be there on purpose. But it's looking very, very like matte professional slay right now. And I'm feeling pretty confident that this is going to hold up throughout the day. Now, I just went to the website and I found some more claims. This foundation is supposed to be lightweight. I would agree. Waterproof. Don't know if I'm going to be going swimming today, but that's good to know. Uh, pig pigmented AF. Is that really in the description right now? <laughs> Are they allowed to say that in the description? I thought that like stood for something, but they literally mean like really, really pigmented. <laughs> Our new Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage foundation hustles as hard as you do. I mean, I am a hustler. Comfy liquid formula. It is pretty comfortable right now. Four to five flattering tones that don't transfer. Let's, let's try that out right now, shall we? All right, grabbing my nice fluffy white robe. See if it transfers. You ready? Are you ready? Transfer test. Oh! Looking pretty white to me. This is like a good boyfriend test. You know when you give your boyfriend a hug, husband, you're like, hey. Wow. That's good, people. Not a speck of brown in sight. Perfect for side chicks. What else is on here? Glides on smooth, delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours. That's a long time. I'm not gonna be able to wear this for 24 hours because I do wanna sleep tonight, but I'm gonna wear it for a long time, guys, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how it looks. It's supposed to control shine, mattify your complexion all day long. These are some strong claims, Nyx. These are strong. But it doesn't stop there, wow. It really can't stop, won't stop. This foundation is non-comedogenic, suitable for normal, oily, or combination, or sensitive skin types. So it's claiming to be good for everyone. Well, I definitely fall in the oily department, so that's what we'll be testing today. So it is currently 3 p.m. I'm gonna wear this for as long as possible. Come back and show you how well the foundation did on my oily skin throughout the day. And I'm back. I know the foundation's called Can't Stop, Won't Stop, but I need to stop right now because it's midnight. So that means I've had this foundation on for a total of nine hours. So looking at the foundation right now under these very bright lights, it still doesn't even look that bad under these lights. It usually always looks better in person than it does on camera, like the camera just kind of shows everything even more, but I'm gonna give y'all a good look. Like, I have a slight glaze, you know, like a little glazed donut, but really not out of control. So for wearing this foundation for a total of nine hours straight, not touching my skin, not blotting at all, we're at a very nice place. And this is on me, someone with very, very oily skin. So I think this foundation did a really good job on oily skin, probably even better on normal skin and Possibly amazing on dry skin. Maybe even too dry. But at this point, I like to use my oil absorbing sheets to see how much oil actually comes off my skin. These are from CVS. You could use any brand you want. They kind of all do the same thing. And let's see.
Wow, look at that. Good as new, right? So this is this is the oil from one side. Let's keep on going. All right, so this is how much oil came off my skin. It actually does look like a lot of oil, even though it didn't look that bad on my actual skin. This is also supposed to be transfer proof. I do see a little bit of brown on here, but it's not like big chunks, but that oil might make it transfer after, you know, nine hours. So let's get all your hugs in in the beginning of the day. So now I'm back to my matte self. I like how it looks right now. I think my coverage is still there. This could definitely go on for more hours. So overall, I'm very satisfied with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I do encourage you guys to see if you can find a shade in your color, give it a try, and then come back to this video. Let me know how well it worked on your skin. Let us know if you have dry skin, normal, oily, combination, whatever, so we can get an idea on who this foundation will work the best for. You can find this foundation at NYX stores. Yes, they have their own stores now. Ulta, Target, probably CVS, Walgreens. They should be at every drugstore because drugstore foundation it's only $15 and let's not forget that there's 45 shades to choose from before you go make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe I post foundation Fridays on Fridays and curly hair videos on Sunday and we gotta stay connected follow me on Twitter Instagram and snapchat at Ms Bianca Renee I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Bianca Renee today oh.